Good evening, I'm Amanda Starantino. And I'm Mark Mullins. A gym in downtown Indianapolis is closed for good. Less than 24 hours after we reported CrossFit Infiltrate canceled a planned workout in support of Pride Month. And now new tonight, RTV6's Graham Hunter reports a day later the staff resigned, members left, and one high-ranking leader in the CrossFit industry is out of a job. Well, the door is locked. CrossFit Infiltrate is closed. The sign on the door says it will no longer operate its business at this location, leaving former members looking for new gyms. I talked to the owner of a nearby CrossFit gym who says everyone is welcome. And I think it just kind of really backlash and they weren't expecting that backlash. After one of the owners of CrossFit Infiltrate canceled a pride themed workout saying true health forever can only be found within humility, not pride. Russell Berger, an executive with CrossFit Inc., the parent company of the CrossFit brand, started tweeting. He accepted what they were, you know, saying, you know, he was totally OK with it. One of Berger's tweets said, Thank you, CrossFit Infiltrate, for standing by your convictions and refusing to celebrate sin by hosting an indie pride workout and ended the tweet with hashtag CrossFit. And that's just going to kill the CrossFit world. Within hours, CrossFit had its own tweet saying the statements made today by Russell Berger do not reflect the views of CrossFit Inc. For this reason, his employment with CrossFit has been terminated. Kind of a small community here in Indy, so you learn about things kind of quickly, particularly within the, the fitness community. Part of the immediate fallout for CrossFit Infiltrate was many members and employees quit. A lot of them went to CrossFit Naptown. We are open to all people regardless of you know, race, religion, sexual orientation, gender characteristics, anything like that. Caitlin Bisco is one of the owners and says they have had a few people from Infiltrate showing up for workouts. We have been very open about saying that, you know, we're welcome for people to come try out uh, and be a part of our community or to see if our community fits for them. And they even designed t-shirts in support of Pride. It's our Naptown logo with uh, kind of a rainbow background that someone designed, which would be pretty cool. For members of the LGBTQ community like Quentin Kane, those are the types of gestures that really mean a lot. It shows that we do have support here in the community for who we are. Reporting in downtown Indianapolis, Graham Hunter, RTV6.